It's James Spangler's here with Gobstoppers. I was invited back. Gobstoppers. That's Amazing. all I know. I don't know. They invite me back, which is kind of the That's kind of crazy. Uh, here's the thing. Is Everlasting Gobstopper. Looking for something to do this time of year. Kids are home. Super simple things to do. I promise these are oohs and ahs. Okay. You'll never look at uh, that candy the same way again. <laughs> Got it? Color <laughs> science. So watch. We're using Gobstoppers. Okay. Watch what we're going to do. In this plate right here, we just put some water. And so water is here like that. Plain old water. Plain old water. And now watch what we're gonna do. Just gonna take the gobstoppers and we just drop them in the water. So go ahead, Kim, do with me. Just, just drop them in. Drop them in. We're gonna make a little pattern with them, maybe a little circle that's there. Oh, the circle turned into modern art, which is perfectly fine. Yeah. Okay. Let that kind of go and do its thing. I want you to watch what happens because the color, the little color, the start. color starts to dissolve. Right. And as the color starts to dissolve, what we get to see now is that color bleeding out into the water. And so we're going to come back to it at the very end. But you start to see it now. Start to see those colors. Mm -hmm. There they go. They start to bleed along the way. You're going to see them mix into other colors, and this will be the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Absolutely gorgeous as the color colors start to uh, to bleed one into the next. So if you put a green one next to a red one, you get kind of a brown color there in the middle. But one kind of goes into the next. Kind of a cool way to watch it dissolve. Right. And to, to I want to see with the move. purple and the uh, It's going to look green. great. Okay. It's going to look great. All right. All right. So while it's doing that, take a look what happens over here. A classic. Ready? Milk. So the milk goes into the dish like this. Is this so full fat milk. milk or does it they, matter? Oh, it does matter. Oh, it so matters. Here's okay. our comparison. You remember, all of this is just, it, we call it a science experiment, but unless you're comparing something, it's not. So for our comparison, this is whole milk versus buttermilk over here. So here's our buttermilk oh, over here. Okay. We'll show you the difference. That buttermilk's so, thick. Eh, what's mm -hmm. the difference between the two? A 1%, 2% skim, <laughs> whole milk. milk. The difference is? Fat. It's not You're fat. Right. It's the fat. And Absolutely. the buttery, the, the rich stuff. All the, yeah, okay. So let's do this All with right. the food coloring. So drops of food coloring in here, just a couple. Uh, good job. I'm going to keep some right in here. Good. Okay. Got it. So now take a look at this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing very quickly over here with the buttermilk. Notice how it doesn't oh my spread gosh, as it's much so thick. with the buttermilk, Look at that. but yeah. still very cool. Okay, now if you take your hands and you try to stir that around, of course it would mix around. We're not going to do that. We're going to allow it to chemically happen, and we're going to use the butt or the fat that's in there to uh, to do that as well. And the chemistry is using a little bit of dish soap. So watch. If you focus on this container right here, the one with the whole milk, watch what happens when I touch it with the soap. <sighs> There it goes. Would you look it's at that? It's a kaleidoscope. There it goes. It starts to move and it starts, oh, there's a little bit there. It starts to go. You'll start to see a little bit of movement that sits over here as well. What happens is that movement, that churning that you're seeing, oh, there's a nice little burst that's right there. That movement is now all of the fat realigning itself around that soap molecule. Soap has fat on one end of the molecule and it's hydrophilic, hydrophobic. <gasps> see that how it's really moving? going. So you're actually seeing the fat molecules move around. Watch what happens when we try it here with buttermilk. You start to see this crazy uh, spreading, but it looks uh, a little bit like these veins. That are, look at that. Is that just amazing? Or Is that what, what fat does to our got, well, cells and know, our body? I don't know that you could draw that comparison, Kim. <laughs> okay. uh, all I know like, is oh my that God, is absolutely gorgeous. This, look at that the movement of the color here. Move over to the gobstoppers. Look at that. <gasps> look at that. We took our eyes off of it for one second. That's a beautiful little color mix. So you can kind of see we're dealing with color symphony. I wonder if there's a difference between whole, per, uh, whole milk, 2%, 1%, milk they don't look the same at all and yet it continues to churn and continues to move as but you the put it butter in milk as well. looks like flowers doesn't it look absolutely Flower beautiful bursts. as it starts to burst in that's the comparison cool way to be able to talk about the amount of fat in uh, in the material there and see the comparison last and thing I'll tell you is take some Elmer's glue mix it up with water and do the same thing with Elmer's glue and you'll never guess what happens it will dry and you can peel it off and it becomes this beautiful little stained glass window <gasps> oh, I went go to, to the that. website. I'll well, show we, you all. I'll show you everything. Why I was Let's say, call it tease, to to ladies and gentlemen. A little Elmer's tease Blue. for the website. If you go okay. visit the Facebook page, uh, I'll put it up there at uh, facebook.com slash Steve Spangler. Okay. I'll never look at buttermilk the same way. You will not. All right. <laughs> Have a gobstopper. Takes really good in things, though. We'll be right nice. back. Thank you.